I'm Hulk Hogan, the greatest wrestler of all time. We're not worthy! We're not worthy! Got space, man, huh? No, actually, I'm a plumber. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I can't go anywhere without getting a boner. How you doing? I live my life. Woo! The Rock says, Sweet baby Jesus in the office. Well, hi everyone, you're watching the Wrestle Rock Podcast Season 5. I'm Johnny D and I am with my partner Benoit aka okay, Nostradamus. Ben, how's you going today, my friend? Uh, very, very good. And you? Yes, I'm going super great. And you know what? Oh. We have a special guest and uh, she's a former uh, wrestler. Uh, she has been involved in... Uh, a stunt woman. Yes, uh, a stunt woman, she has been involved in uh, a, a few uh, movies, and of course, uh, she is um, a lady from um, the first season of uh, the first series uh, about uh, the glow uh, on Netflix. Yes, yeah, uh, remember, it? yes, of course. And uh, let me introduce yourself, uh, give it up <laughs> for uh, Jean Bazan. As you going today, my friend? Uh, Hi, I'm good, you guys. How are you? Yes, oh, we're good. super great. Good. I loved your introduction. You have that little introduction in the beginning, and I heard Van Halen. I heard David. <laughs> that, that, that's awesome I live because. My life like <laughs> no tomorrow's perfect. Uh, as you can see, uh, that's um, a perfect mix between music and uh, professional wrestling and. As we discuss uh, in private, you have a perfect profile for for that because uh, you love rock and roll. You have been involved uh, for your personal life and stuff like that. And we know that you love Kiss music right. and rock and roll. So, <laughs> and you also um, been involved in uh, in, a, in a professional wrestling industry, of course. So. I right. uh, go away the, with uh, the first question, my friend. Yeah, of course. Uh, uh, do you have a childhood idol? What were you like when you were young? A childhood idol. So I'm trying to think when I was a kid, really, it probably would have been like Wonder Woman, right? Nice. There wasn't a lot on back Linda then. Linda Carter? For... Pardon? You mean Linda Carter? Linda Carter, of yeah, course. Nice. Yeah really liked Linda Carter. That just showed so much strength. Of course, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't know that I was going to be a wrestler uh, during that time. But yeah, <laughs> Wonder Woman, for sure. Nice. And we know that you uh, you have been trained by uh, Mando Guerrero and Correct. the late uh, Cynthia uh, uh, Peretti, of course. Yes. Um, we would like to, to know um, how did you discover professional wrestling and uh, for about how many months uh, your uh, wrestling training uh, right. was and, and stuff like that. So Sure. So uh, it was an audition that I had. Um, and I went down to this audition not knowing what kind of a sports show they were talking about because they wouldn't tell us. Okay. Uh, so I went down and they finally said, this is about... Uh, women's wrestling and I was like oh my god I don't know anything about wrestling I knew a bunch of other sports but wrestling was very uh new to me I'm like hey I'm 21 years old so let's go down to the interview where I saw Monda Guerrero training some ladies that had already started before me um right. I got I got there and they needed 12 girls for a pilot okay and there was a lot of women trying out and I kept coming back and coming back because um, our uh, training was after work so I could go. So the training was uh, 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. Monday, Wednesday, oh, Friday. Really? Right. Really? So I had to work and then I had mm -hmm. to learn how to wrestle. Oh, in the same time. Wow. Exactly. Yes. But the cool thing about it, you guys, is we were getting paid to do this. So that's oh. even better, right? Uh, of course. You know, today kids have to pay, you know, yeah. to learn how to wrestle. So they were paying us. And every time I would get there, I noticed there was less and less girls. 
Mm -hmm. I'm like, this is a good sign. I'm still here. And then I was one of the 12 that they picked and they named my character Hollywood. And they tagged me with a girl from Toronto, uh, uh, Janet Bowers, um, okay. who played the, played the character Vine. Yeah. Yeah. And like, what? Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, Mrs. Bazone, can you yes. explain to us uh, what the Glow Fe uh, Wrestling Federation is? Glow stands for Gorgeous Ladies of Wrestling. And it was at that time, we were on TV from 1986 to really uh, to 89. And then we did a pay per view in 93. Okay. Um, so it was an all women's wrestling company that had not been anything like that at all because WWF at the time, they didn't have just all women. They had a few ladies, the most of them were ballets. Yeah. So I would say, yes, there was a lot of other independent wrestling companies out there, but they were not on television. Um, okay. So I'm not, I'm not going to discredit all the women who mm -hmm. were busting their ass out there doing the independent wow. scene. I didn't know anything about an independent scene till later on. And there were just incredible girls. Uh, but you know what? Um, you can't, you know, it was just the right timing. You know, timing yeah. for me was right to hit this show. And I was just forever humbled and grateful to be on this show. And I, can, I did the pilot and I did mm -hmm. all four seasons that we had. Nice. Yeah. And, and why was the Glow series uh, canceled? I'm just curious because that was very great for real. Yeah, that was not, not, I didn't see that coming. Let's just, let's just tell you that. I was like, what? Okay. No show. Um, you know, most of it was financial. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, money. Yeah, I have a book that's coming out and it's going to go deeper into really a theory of why it was canceled. But at the end of the day, when somebody pulls the money and there's no more money mm -hmm. coming in, I mean, yeah. they stopped immediately. And that was really sad because I'm thinking, now what? what am i gonna do you know but but and, i had been wrestling for four years um so it kind of was like cool i get a break for a little while okay. but i loved what i did so then there was the independent wrestling scene but go ahead i'm sorry i could i could no talk problem. Today about that no problem <laughs> it's good okay uh, mrs bazone what was your reaction when you found out uh, netflix had the release a new glow series i loved it i was like oh my gosh <laughs> it's been over 30 years and somebody is going to do a TV show about glow. Yeah. You, 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 awesome. you know what you do things and you put them away. You're just thinking, okay, on to the next, on to the next, on to the next. That was then this is now super excited. And I'm like, I can't wait to see this show and what they do with it. And oh, it's, it's fiction, awesome. you know, it, it, it um, has, it's not a carbon copy of our show, but that's okay because they added more elements, more drama to it um mm -hmm. so i loved it and i wish that they would have had more seasons and i wish that they would have been able to have us glow girls doing cameos that would have been that would have made that show perfect in my eyes and the show was uh awesome for real and and the platform and, and the series is also on uh, on the, the biggest uh, network on the planet. So right, that that's that's insane. That's so Netflix, a uh, nah, that that's a very uh, big asset for uh, absolutely for every Netflix girl's working huge. on that. So uh, that that's a very big uh, step for the for for the next step. You know, and, yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah. Uh, how many episodes of the in the series? I'm not. Mm, I'm sorry. Uh, how many episodes of the, the Glow series oh, on episodes, Netflix? Uh, our, our show or the Netflix? The Netflix uh, series? Or both? Had, or both? Okay, so our show, we had four seasons. That okay. was probably okay. over 104 wow. episodes. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, and then... It's the huge. Net, yes, Netflix. and I'm in a lot of those, only because I was there for so long. Mm -hmm. um, so, and then the uh, Netflix had three seasons, and then COVID started, and then they put them to bed. So there was no more uh, Glow Netflix uh, once COVID <clears throat> had shut down all the studios. So and during your little break uh, <laughs> after the, 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 the first uh, series has been canceled, you know, yeah. uh, you, uh, you had the opportunity to, uh, 
to be on the Playboy magazine, you know. Oh, and yeah. In, and in uh, if my memory is good, in 1988, uh, Playboy magazine select three glows girls to be part Correct. of the 1989 magazine. Can you Perfect. share uh, with us uh, the selection process and, okay. uh, and stuff like yeah. that? Yeah. So, so here's the cool thing is we had... Um, we had our director tell us, and he only came up to a few of us. He asked me if I wanted to do it. I said, okay. of course I want to do this magazine. This is something I wanted to do long time ago. So he said they were doing a pictorial on women's wrestling. Um, so I went down to the Playboy mm -hmm. um, offices in Los Angeles and they took Polaroids of us, kind of interviewed us, but they totally knew that they were going to shoot us. So there wasn't like an audition process once I got down there um, and I had never posed for Playboy or anything like that before. So it was, you know, after a while, when you have the light person, the audio person, hair, makeup, photographers, uh, set designers running around, they don't care if you're naked or not. They've seen it all before. So it yeah. was very comfortable. The only thing that was uncomfortable is I had to be in a certain position the whole yeah. time because I'm looking like Gumby. I didn't have, I don't, and I still don't have a lot of curves, but there wasn't a lot of curves. So they're creating curves so yeah. on the side of the bathroom yeah. to turn this way. Yeah. And, this is yeah. very professional. Honestly, I work on the, the adult industry for six years uh, just for uh, the advertising. We have a, there was a, a private um, company um, um link with a uh, mind geek and um you work on and on and this is very very professional it and is. when i discovered that that's just not charm or porn you know no, that's very very as you said uh, there is there is um um uh, a professional uh, person behind all of that. There is a uh, technician, sound, sound man, uh, light right. man, and uh, there is a director and stuff like that. And Correct. for real, that's very, very professional, you know. It is. And uh, go ahead, my friend. Yeah. Okay. Uh, many, many uh, stunt women or stunt men uh, made appearance in some movies and the documentary. You right. you made a, a brief appearances in me myself and Irene as a bikini girl and right. in Saved by the Bell as a oh, beach yeah. girl. Right. Uh, do, do you think that your role in Glow has a direct link uh, to your uh, casting uh, in these uh, movies? Sometimes yes. I got to tell you once once I enhanced this part of me, roles came flowing in. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you got to think about the 90s. It was bigger yeah. and better. Look at look at all the um, the videos, you know, the video vixens and all those mm -hmm. videos there. Yeah. So once that happened, I started working a lot more and I always knew I wanted to do that. Um, so uh, but the stunt work here's interesting about the stunt work. Lightning, who was one of the glow girls, was doing the stunt work and she introduced me uh, to that um, field. Mm -hmm um so that was very cool the latest one that i just did actually nicole kidman has a netflix movie coming out and i am a stunt driver in oh, nice. her movie which is cool it's not like i'm racing when i say stunt driver i'm more stunt utility meaning that i am playing a mother and i'm dropping my children off to school because that was the scene with nicole so okay. i'm in a car driving safely obviously letting the children mm -hmm. out so that was pretty cool. So I'm hoping, I can't wait to see that because that'll be pretty cool. And you know what, the stunts, let me just tell you this, the stunt work, because it's a Union Screen Actors Guild uh, film, you're getting residuals on that and you're getting paid a lot better than Probably. you are as a wrestler. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. for sure. <laughs> just because of the residuals alone. I'm just talking about back in the day when I was wrestling. Today, who I, I don't know what their their pay is if you're in a WWF. I'm sure it's wonderful. And you know. I imagine that uh, professional wrestling is harder physically than uh, stuntmen. Oh, it's, oh, yeah, it's it's yeah. it's not easy. Let me tell you, when you're doing the stunt work, 
you need to make sure that you're doing uh, the skills that mm -hmm. you can do. Hitting the ground hard was my skill. Um, and also when I was uh, doubling some of the actresses, I had to kind of have their look, their body type. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and a lot of some actresses don't have the same body type. Uh, but if you, you know, so you, it was more specific, you know, uh, yeah. And I enjoyed every minute of it. I still love doing that. <laughs> let me tell you. Okay, uh, this is uh, Bazon, of course. Uh, can you tell us about a few highlights of your stunt career? Yes, that one that I told you that that one was actually it was um, a soap opera, Days of okay. Our Lives, and I'm doubling. Her name is Nadia Bajorn, I believe, okay. a brunette girl, okay. <laughs> and. Um, her scene basically was the door has to explode and catch on fire. So oh. once that happens, I am taking the fall for her. So I'm in her, oh, I had a wow. wig. I don't, I think I was in a wig because her hair was, yes. Uh, and I was in her dress and we only did two takes, which was wonderful. I'd never been really? on the set on a, on a soap opera because a soap opera has cameras everywhere, not just this camera here. <laughs> one looking this way, one looking this way, one above, one here. Um, so we did action. I took the first fall. We had a little tiny mat. And then the, direct, <laughs> the director asked, can we please do it without the mat? Now, now mind you, I had, oh. I had, um, I had all my uh, elbow pads and knee pads, mm -hmm. uh, back pads. And I looked at my stunt coordinator and I looked at him and I, he looked at me and I just said like this, I nodded my head, which meant, of course, yes. And we did it, boom, on the ground, done. And when we are young, we are, we think that we are a superhero, but- I say that all we... the time. When we're young, we have no fear. No, no fear. exactly. You know, and that's why stunt corners, co coordinators really like to work with the younger generation that is coming up because they have no fear. They're, they're not going to break a hip, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Right. And uh, we know that uh, you love um, rock and roll. And um, uh, you've mentioned that Kiss is one of your favorite music group. Uh, like and um, we're aware uh, you met them a few years ago. And, um, yeah. What sparked your passion for the, the band for music? Kiss? So, yeah, for music okay. in, in general. Yeah. So in seventh grade, when I got into seventh grade, um, I was sitting next to this young boy and on his folder, it was all written Kiss, Led Zeppelin. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wow, I go, what are these bands? You know, um, I'm used to hearing more like Wild Cherry play that funky music. And then I started listening to Led Zeppelin, to Van Halen, okay. uh, to, to Kiss. And that is when I just, I went, this music is so cool. And yeah. I have been a fan of those bands for years, being from Southern California. You know, um, I love the music scene. Uh, my, my boyfriend, who I've been with for 21 years, has played with Gene in his solo yeah. band. And he plays yes, I discovered with that. Uh, yes. yes, I discovered that uh, when I, I'm working on your profile and I uh -huh. discovered that you are engaged with uh, Mr. Ryan. Cook, Ryan, yes. that's awesome yes. for real, because I met yeah. him a couple of years ago in uh, uh, Saint Joseph de Beauce in Quebec City. Uh, oh. That was uh, the 60 years anniversary of Gene Simmons. I love that. Um, and that was uh, 2011. 2011 if my memory wow. is good and uh wow. yeah and uh, that was a big festival and i'm in front row as usual when uh, the guys come from i uh, come in uh, in our area we are always uh there. front row and uh, that's awesome because um your um uh, your boyfriend have as a Big charisma is very talented uh, oh, yes. with the guitar and thank, stuff like thank that. Thank you. And Aww. and and uh, I will I will provide you a couple of videos of your boyfriend because I I thank catch a, a couple of things on videos. on that. Yeah, I'm thank a big you. fans of Kiss since uh, uh, probably uh, 20 years. And um, just for information, I'm uh, I have uh, in my basement uh, one of the biggest uh, Kiss museum in Quebec City. I and I, yeah, and I, cool. and I, I, and I catch a couples of uh, photos 
uh, that I can share you immediately. Um, you. Check this out. Go ahead. I have uh, a couple oh, of uh, wow. yeah. <clears throat> yeah, uh, and, uh... yes, I have a couple of uh, of things that uh, that that I bring uh, all around the world, and when I That's I'm working, nice. let me look at my. What I'm going to put. Sure, the oh about my you. goodness, look at that! Uh, wow, that's, that that that's awesome. We have a couple of uh, uh, sign uh, because I made I, I made them uh, in 2012. Okay. Uh, I have the the the, oh, the, the ball ball. Ball. <gasps> yeah, and oh, I create I, I created by myself because uh, that's not the original of uh, 1970. You, made, you, cre yeah. you created that one. Yes, I, I I replicated that one. Uh, Perfect. Uh, yeah, and I have the the drum, and uh, I have a couple of guitars uh, in my basement. That's super cool. So. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, uh, that is super cool. I love it. Yeah. It's a museum. Yeah, of wow. course, of course. That's that's awesome. Gene would be impressed. Gene would be uh, impressed. probably, of course, <laughs> probably. And um, uh, just, just before, before the uh, the ending, going, I have a last question about yes, wrestling. About wrestling, uh, who was your toughest opponent? Ooh, that would have been well. Of course, it was always Mountain Fiji because you have this huge three hundred and fifty pound woman. You're wow. trying to get her off her feet. How are you going to win? So that's the toughest, uh, but. In a like in a singles tag team match, it was always Sally, the farmer's daughter. She wow. was such a tough opponent. She was such a great wrestler. She's strong. Um, yeah. Um, it wasn't so much that she was strong; she was just crafty. <laughs> nah. But I'm the bad guy, so you know what I mean. So oh. I had to be one step higher than her because she was doing all these bad things. I'm like, wait mm -hmm. a second, you're a baby face. I'm the heel. Okay, you're and the heel. Yes, I'm, yeah. I'm the bad guy, which are the yeah. best characters to play. They really yeah. are. A when stunning heel. She's Hollywood from me. A gorgeous and a stunning <laughs> heel. <laughs> oh, you're so sweet. Uh, but, you nice. know, I, I'm telling you, she was the hardest one, but you, the fans got to run for their money because clearly we did not want to lose. I didn't want to lose and she didn't want to lose. So everything was just taken up another notch when i wrestled her wow. everybody else was about here but boy when i wrestled her you got your money's worth for sure and nobody knows that it's very hard to work with uh an opponent with uh when she was uh, overweight because oh, yes for the yeah. movement that's very different and you need yes. to just um adjust <laughs> adjust exactly that that's the perfect word you know that's a good word you have to yeah. adjust for someone who's bigger yeah. than you or you Agreed. have to outthink them you know exactly what I mean? yes yeah. and just for ending uh i will give you a few names in in uh, short words tell me something about them right okay so uh ryan cook a hottie <laughs> <laughs> nice uh jim carrey very funny <laughs> <laughs> nice uh stress stratus beautiful and talented oh, yeah. and for closing jan bazan oh all-around athlete and really? trying to be kind to everybody and versatile yes yeah really yeah and uh for I think, closing, I, can i just say i think kindness, go ahead. you guys Are kindness you? goes a long way you know what I mean? Respect. Yeah. I like that. Be nice yeah. to people. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, thank you for your uh, practically 25 minutes of your generous time. This is very appreciated. Oh, thank, thank you, you guys. And I have to tell you, I have to compliment the mics. I love pink. Really? Ah, cool. Yes, pink. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, <laughs> I love that. Thank you. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Can I talk about one more thing? Can I talk about my yeah, soap company? Yes, of course. Look, 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 look. Yes, yes, of course. We but... almost forgot about this, Nashville Botanica. And I started it this right very before. You know? Yes. Um, I started it right before the pandemic. We didn't know the pandemic was going to happen. But basically, I liked making homemade products that have no preservatives in it. And here's and that's how that started. And so I called it Hollywood Botanica at first which it still is. And then I, mm -hmm. since I'm here in Nashville, I'm like, well, let's call it Nashville Botanica. Um, <clears throat> the ingredients in these are organic coconut oil, olive oil, sodium hydroxide, which you need to make soap and water and a little bit of um, an essential oil or fragrance. So 
this has been going strong for a long time. I even have these in our Nashville International Airport, which is pretty cool. And then you guys, my book, my autobiography sure. will be out this year. And that's nice. going to be Hooray for Hollywood, the Glow Original. And I'm oh, super wow. excited because a lot of the um, questions that you asked me yeah. will be deeper in that book. And then I'm going to oh, make nice. sure that it, yes. And then I will make sure that there are photos, photos, photos um, that you can nice. see stuff that you hadn't seen before. So um, when we're, uh, we can get your uh, salt, my friend. On uh, your website, yes, uh, I saw uh, that yes, you. Uh, I, I have there I is... have nashvillebotanica.com. Okay, you spell, Nashville. You spell botanica with a K, okay. just like Nashville perfect. botanica. All right, perfect. Uh -huh. Yep, and then if you guys, I have Instagram official Glow Hollywood is perfect. My Instagram, and then I have Hollywood Botanica, which is my Instagram account. I hope you guys right. have an Instagram. Do you? Yeah, of course. Okay, good. Yes. Good, because right before I spoke to you, I made a little video about our um, interview. So I'll tag you. Perfect. Like and when your book will be released? I would say uh, after the printing, I'm hoping by the middle of the year. Okay. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, June, yeah. July. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So maybe we should come back and talk. So I keep, keep it in contact. So, uh, yeah. Because a uh, couple of uh, months ago, we. Uh, we receive a Medusa for his, uh, yes. his uh, book for release. Book. So uh, yeah. don't be hesitate. If you need uh, something, we are there for that. Okay. Uh, Perfect. Thank you. So uh, thank you so much for your time. And for closing, uh, my partner, Benoit, a.k.a. Uh, Nostradamus, it's all about the French prophet. He tried to predict the future of our guests. Go ahead, my friend. Yeah, first of all, thank you so much, Mrs. Bazzoni. It was yeah, uh, very uh, amazing to speak with you. Thank you. It was very nice to uh, meet you guys and be on your podcast. Very oh. humble. Thank you. Okay. Awesome. I predict to you uh, an, ev an eventual uh, appearance in a, a documentary about stunt. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I love that. Oh, yeah. You never yeah, know. So. Yeah. Yes. You know what? The possibilities are endless. Yeah, of course. When you were vert versatile, we can do everything, you know? That's right. That's right. Yeah. Just keep going and keep going and keep going. That's what I say. Exactly. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. a perfect word. So <laughs> it was a pleasure that you can take uh, practically 30 minutes with us. This is very appreciated. So Thank my name you. is Jonathan and I was with my partner Benoit. And of course, the the, the outstanding <laughs> Jane Bazone, a.k.a. Hollywood from the Glow Thank series. You. Thank you so much for your time. That was Thank you. amazing. So yes, much. I Thank you so much, you guys. Stay warm, uh, stay healthy, wash your hands, and yes. don't forget, be kind. And you guys are kind. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> be careful yeah, yeah. On, the, on the road and airplane I because I know that you, you, uh, you're you traveling all around the world. Oh, yeah. so, uh, yes. yes, I'm leaving for Panama soon and then out of the country after that. So um, thank you so much for the well wishes. Have a great day. You too.